if the court is satisfied without having received any form of documentation, that confirms that the person before the court is indeed Tabo Esther. Then we don't have a problem. We, we, we just wanted the court to be satisfied. Because the only thing that is in possession of the court, like previous appearance, uh, Your Ship, it was only the J50 with the name of Tabo Besta, nothing else. Is this really Tabo Besta? That was the question posed to Magistrate Mushlolo Kabisi when Besta made a virtual appearance in the Bloemfontein Magistrate Court last week. His lawyers wanted him to make a physical appearance and implied that the man locked up in Pretoria might be someone other than Besta. He's used a range of aliases, including Tom Mutsepe, TK Nkwana, and to date has no ID book or card. But the Department of Home Affairs fixed that last week when they finally issued him with a birth certificate and ID document. Here is Tabo Bester's ID. In the case of Tabo Bester, Mr. Mazawun conducted that, that process, the LRB process, with a tribunal. And on the basis of that, he was issued with an ID. There are stories that, no, we only issued the ID because, uh, because <clears throat> there was a D D D DNA done. And it will give people an impression that we only issue IDs after DNA. No, that's not true. The DNA was not done by us as part of an R LRB process. It was done by police. Of course, it came in to help but it was done by police in their own investigation, and they found that is matching that of Tabo's mother, or at least the woman who told us that uh, she is Tabo's mother. So, so, <clears throat> so he had nothing to concede. All the information was there. Home Affairs was accompanied to the Hoshimampuru prison by Besta's mother, Maria Mabasu. She told News24 that she was relieved to see her son in person. But but one of the more valuable support I love it. Then Ram Kamungela is he. Kamungela is he. Meanwhile, Dr. Nani Pamakutumana and her legal counsel filed an urgent court application citing that her arrest from Tanzania was unlawful and that she was abducted. Minister Mtualed also said the department has obtained legal advice to revoke Makutumana's passport.